The President, please be seated. Le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez vous asseoir. The Chamber is now back in session. Nous reprenons l'audience. The graph here, Doj Sapari, is instructed to read the statement au greffier, Monsieur Doug Perry, of Saum Saum Hall, which is the 78th slash 6. Document D78-6. I notice the presence of the international co-prosecutor. You may proceed. Note que le procureur international souhaite intervenir. Je vous en prie. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Euh, il me semble que figurait également ce matin au programme la lecture des documents D48.1 et D52 concernant Taiteng. Il ne me semble pas qu'il ait été, qu ait été donné lecture de ces documents pour ce qui le concernait. Est-ce que ces documents vont être lus plus tard en même temps que les paragraphes qui concernent Mi Peng Kri ou faudrait-il y procéder maintenant Je vous remercie. I would like the Chamber's enlightenment on this matter. The President, President, the Chamber has already informed the parties and the public ainsi que le public of the proceedings of de reading the statements of the witnesses whom the Chamber has decided not to summon to appear before the chamber yesterday. And that also includes Ceci comprend the statements to be read by the graph here, dont that is the records of interviews, the written records of confrontation, the written records of confrontation, which shall be the last statement to be read for each for a particular witness. Les dernières parties des documents. So it is clear in the information pour les parties. Donc ces informations have informed all the parties to the proceedings and the public as a whole. Nous en avons informé l'ensemble des parties ainsi que le public au cours de l'audience hier matin. The President, Le President Mr. Doge Perry, Perry, you may continue. Veuillez poursuivre. I can start like document D78-6. This is the written record of the interview of the witness of Sam, Sam All with the revolutionary témoin. name Poon Sam, born on Sarn, born in 1957. This written record was Ce made on the 1st April 2008 at 3.15 p.m. by the investigators of the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges of the Extraordinary Chambers in the Courts of Cambodia. Questioned, when Question. did you find out about tools lying? How? And at that time, Quand what was your position? Response, I was a messenger of the Ministry of Foreign Réponse. Affairs starting from 1976. Depuis la fin de the messenger 67. team leader was named Vern. I do not know whether he is dead or alive at the present time. 
I was able to find out about the office at 21 because my chief, Vern, who asked me to take a letter with the following words on the back, to Kamerhut, chief of office at 21. Dutch House was located outside the office fence, in front of a tall residence popularly known as Sra. Sra. I gave the letter to Dutch personally. Chain and Pan registered the letter as received as well as the letter, letter number. Next, I carried a small letter Ensuite, on which Lut wrote a received letter number. Je cite, J'accuse la réception de la lettre numéro 21. I never took letters from office at 21 to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I found out that Chen was the one who brought letters and documents to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Such documents were brought by a CL motorcycle. The documents were more than 20 centimeters high. Sometimes there were few and sometimes there were many. Occasionally, when I asked Chen, he replies that he brought such documents for Uncle to review them. Dutch asked me not to tell anyone else about bringing him letters. If I did, he would tell Ying Sari to have me arrested. I saw Chen bringing the documents to him about once per week. Most of them were handwritten documents which were confessions of prisoners. As far as I know, Chen died on Kravang Mountain in 1979 when he was fighting against the Vietnamese. After that, I found out that the staff of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs had subsequently been arrested. A little while before this, in 1976, I knew about S21 because when I was learning how to make films at B1, I saw Peng, who came from S21, arrest people living around me. Question. Could you please tell us about the time you were working at the Vietnamese border? Question. In 1977, I was sent to work at the border for about two months. During that period, I saw Ta Le Weiss and Ta Nath Division invade Vietnamese territory. I also saw the soldiers of that division arrest some Vietnamese soldiers wearing blue uniforms. There were also women and civilians, but most of them were soldiers. They there were around 40 people, only a few of whom were women. I knew the persons who took these prisoners of war through Office S21 because they were in Chen's team. Je connaissais les personnes qui étaient allées chercher ces prisonniers, à savoir les personnes de Chen, Tan, Peng, and Po. Tan, Peng, I found Ho. out that the soldiers of the division always shot the captives of war during the night time. Nuit, Only the high-ranking people were exempted. I knew this because I found a telegram and I learned telegram. about the orders of the upper Et echelon through a telegram from Phnom Penh. I knew only that they Nompenne. were upper echelon, but I did not know who they were. Not so long after the order from above, the captives of war were driven to S21. S21. They were driven in a Chinese truck and a Land Rover de fabrication chinoise et d'une Land Rover. Portant une plaque de 
Euh, une plaque minéralogique. Did you ever see um, those participants in, in Question. Avez-vous vu d'autres participer à la réunion response. avec les in des personnes de Réponse. En 1977, j'ai vu uh, Duke participer à une réunion um, hebdomadaire Yang Sari, pour ministère B1 Pol Pot, avec Yang Sari, Sun Sen, Pol Pot, Sonsen, Nunchea et Tamok. Et Tamok. Dutch attended meetings Duke with the participation of reunion avec des réunions des membres de l'échelon supérieur environ une fois par semaine et c'est jusqu'à la libération en 79 parfois only came to see Sunsen or Tamok ne venait voir que Sunsen ou Tamok of other et zones des chefs de différentes zones Because I was downstairs, je savais and the meetings à cela, j'en avais connaissance upstairs. parce que je me trouvais à l'étage inférieur où I se tenait, par rapport à l'endroit où se tenait la réunion des échelons supérieurs. Je constatais que Duke apportait régulièrement des classeurs de documents similaires à ceux que Chen apportait à moto. Probablement qu'il s'agissait là d'aveux. Do you still remember who Question. in the staff vous of B1 was arrested and taken B1 to Office S21? A été arrêté et envoyé au centre Response. S21. I still Réponse. remember that Matt and Rune, Matt Rune was was province, le village natal se trouvait dans la province de Takeo, et provenant de la 310e division, étaient arrêtés suite à l'arrestation de leur chef. Question. Arrestation qui avait eu lieu au préalable. Question. Pensez-vous que le chef de B1 n'était pas au courant de l'arrestation ou n'était pas d'accord avec l'arrestation des personnels de B1 et de leur transfert à S21 Réponse. I think that Je the pense leader of B1 que le chef de B1 really knew about it on était au courant parce documents arrest were always sent to the leader to get his comments a few days de, before the arrest was carried uh, out. Quelques jours And avant there were also some meetings, as I have already réunion. mentioned. Comme je vous dit. What did you know regarding the wedding? Comme je vous l'ai déjà dit. Response. Question. Que savez-vous du mariage de Duke? The participants were participé Sun Sen, Parmi les participants, and Yang Tiren. Il y avait Sun Sen, Nun Chia et Yang Tiren. Le la cérémonie du mariage a eu lieu au domicile de Duke. So I think that Duke was an important person. Je pense donc Since que there were Duke many était une personne people importante puisque des personnages importants avaient participé And à son mariage. Et je pense que tout le monde And about connaissait le centre work. S21 Because et la nature Deutsch du travail de Duke parce que ce dernier était well. quelqu'un assez ouvert vis-à-vis -vis de cela. Je ne dispose pas d'autres informations concernant d'autres prisons parce que je n'ai jamais été autorisé visit à my native home. me rendre dans le Question. village où je venais. Based on Question. Work, what did Selon you think votre about expérience his attitude? du travail de Duke, que, que pouvez-vous nous dire s'agissant de euh, l'attitude de Duke? J'ai remarqué qu'il aimait bien son travail. Because whenever I met him, chaque fois que je l'ai rencontré, il souriait actively. Toujours. And sometimes he asked me to return to my place euh, early to avoid losing time in a long conversation. I saw that most of the time he rode his CL motorcycle, which he sometimes allowed his messenger to ride. And also he sometimes drove a jeep. One copy of the written record was provided to the witness. After the written record was read out to the witness, la lecture du procès verbal a été donnée au témoin et le témoin n'a formulé aucune objection. Il y a posé sa signature. The president. Le président. Next. Mr. Deutsch Paris, you are instructed to read a statement of another witness. Une déposition d'un autre témoin. Il s'agit d'une qui est Sopira. Et c'est juste un bref summary de sa déposition. De sa déposition. Le document D83, barre de fraction 1. The 
of the interview of Jay Sopira. Jay Sopira is the deputy chairman of the Directorate of Museums responsible for the Tuoslam Museum of Genocide, Crimes, and Ministry of Culture and Fine Arts. In his statement to the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges dated 25th March 2008, document reference number D82-3, he has described how documents including confessions, films, and photographs found in the compound of S21 and its surrounding areas have been collected, arranged, and conserved. The president. Le president. After the two statements have been read out by the graphier, that is, the statements of Sam Sam All and the summary of the statement of J. Sopira. Do the co-prosecutors have any observation to make regarding these two statements? All the parties are reminded that these two documents are separate, but due to its brief, brief appearance, Document distinct, then both of them have been raised at the same time. Ceci if the co prosecutors uh, have any comments to make, you take the floor. Um, Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. Document. The prosecution uh, does not have any observation to make regarding these two statements. The President, the civil party. Nous adressons lawyers, do you have any observations to civil? make regarding these Avez two statements read out by the graphier? S'agissant de ces documents dont le graphier vient de donner lecture. Your Honours, our civil party lawyers do not have any les comment mm, for this witness. Thank you. Les juges, les convoqués des groupes de partis civils n'ont pas de d'observation à faire. Je vous remercie. Le président, the defense counsel, nous adressons à présent au conseil de la défense des observations à faire s'agissant de la teneur de ce deux statements as read out by the graphier. Le graphier vient de donner lecture. Maître Garçavout. Mr. President, Monsieur the Defense President, Council does not have any observation to make regarding these two documents. The President, the President, the Chamber now gives the La opportunity to the accused to make his, obs his observations, observations regarding the statements, the two statements as read out by the Grafier. Monsieur l'accusé, je vous en prie. The accused, Mr. President. L'accusé, Monsieur le Président. The, the summary of Mr. J. Sapira. I do not have any comments Quant to make. Quant à la synthèse de Monsieur J. de la déposition de Monsieur J. Sapira, eh bien, je n'ai pas de commentaire à faire à ce sujet-là. The witness, J. Sam. Cependant, pour ce qui est de la déposition du témoin, Monsieur Sam, 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 all, Sam all, or pull Sam all, or pull Sam all. I would like to read. Je souhaiterais donner lecture. A question put by the co-investigating judge, Marcel Mont, to me in a document D47, as follows. Questions by the co-investigating judge, Marcel Le Monde. You said. Vous avez dit. You had no relationship uh, with the senior leaders besides Sun Sen and Nunchi. Um, 
but a witness named Jake Som, who was a former messenger of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, who was interviewed by DC Camp with the reference 00, 0, 05, 4752-4752, 00054814 in 2002 on the 12th of July that you participated in the gathering with Nunchi, Son Sen, Yung Sari, and Kyo Son Kwon, and a filming crew from China. Is that true? If so, why these senior leaders participated in your wedding response? I would like to say that this statement is not correct. The senior, those senior leaders were not present at my wedding on the 20th of December 1975. Also, there was no Chinese swimming crew on that day. I did not know why Jake Som mentioned that. I think this person was not a messenger from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. It was likely that he was a member of S21 staff. I made a written note on this point and I handed that note to the co investigating judges as an annex to this record of interview. And I would like to read the written note that I gave to the co investigating judges. This document's reference is 00016. 4353. Three. Three. I would like to read the EN number six, again. 00164353. The second topic. Three. The relationship between S21 and, and the Standing and the Central Committee. Committee central permanent. Uh, on the S21 side, there was only S21, me, Dutch, who was the chairman, moi, Duc, who could report to the Central Committee. And on the Central Committee, it was only Son Sen, and above him, who was Nun Chi, who constantly supervised S21 regarding the security matter. De la Second paragraph, Jason, I had an impression that he was a Jackson. member of S21 staff. He was one of the youths that I requested from Kampong Chnang on my wedding day. There was no Nun Chi, Yung Sari, attending, and there were no Chinese film crew making a movie at it on the day. Addition, I got married on the 20 of December 1975 at the military office of West Zone at Long Beach Base. Rom, my wife, she was the chairwoman of the sewing office in that zone. Number two, the, the dignitaries were San, the deputy secretary of the West Military Committee, Ron, a member of the West Military Committee, Nas, chairman, secretary of S21. Three, the parents of the bride and the groom are my mother, my godmother, and a senior woman an elder. Four, the guests whom I knew, including Nun Chi, Yung Sari, Son Sen, Kyo Son Pon. They are Brother Mom Nai, S21, Comrade Won, Deputy Chairman of Military Hospital, West Zone, and Bud Masi Won and the wife of Su Samet. Five, at that time there were 
few black and white photographs. And probably three was the one who took the photos. He was S21 staff. Had 17 hours, Nat took me back to Phnom Penh, and Nat called the cadres of the company and platoons to attend in order to make them familiar with Kamrat Gun and my wife, because on the wedding day they did not attend, and we had a chicken gruel at house number two. And that house number two was the former house of my samedi. And I mentioned that on the sketch of I-21 that I drew. And it was ready only at 23 to 24 hours. And even at that time, soon, talked to Rome that he was busy. And my requests at the time were true, and I did not even tell anybody. First, I only wanted the wedding for my couple, because at that time, a lot of uh, couples were married. And secondly, I want my mother to stand up and give her best wishes to me and my wife. These wishes were mine. And this was done on the 19th, February 2008, through the co-investigating charges. That is my response, uh, Mr. Mr. President. Mr. President, I will stop here for what is my response, Mr. President. The President. Next. Mrs. Saikovati is now instructed to read another statement, D48-1. And D52-1. Only the relevant part uh, of the section are to be read. According to the request by the Defense Council, and uh, the yes, trial sir. chamber would like to inform the parties to the proceeding and the public that previously the, the statements of the witnesses before the co investigating judges already read, especially document of Mir Pen Kri. Since uh, we experienced some kind of technical glitch uh, that we failed to read the relevant uh, paragraphs, we are now in the process of reading those uh, relevant paragraphs. And uh, the Grafche are now instructed to read the, the paragraphs before the parties are given the opportunity to give their observation in relation to these statements. And the Please read only the relevant part uh, in relation to the witness Mir Pain Kri. The Grafche document D48-1. This is the record of the reconstruction before the co-investigating judges of the extraordinary chambers in the courts of Cambodia on the 26th of February 2008 at 8 a.m. at the genocidal uh, the Memo killing field uh, uh, in Kandal province. Mr. Kang Gek Eo, alias Deutsch, and his uh, and lawyers, Mr. Kasselwood and Mr. Francois Roux, were present, witness Ms. Ping Kri Hum Hui and Chun Paul and Tai Ting were also present. First paragraph. Premier paragraph. During the call, the charged person stated that he knew only Hum Hui among the four witnesses. 
connaître seulement Himhoi parmi les quatre témoins. Witness Miss Ping Kri stated that he le has never Ms. met Ms. him but knew him by face. Paragraph 2. Miss Ping Kri stated that he has Ms. returned there once last year for a film with him Hui. The letter indicated that he had returned to the site several times, including in the 80s at the invitation of journalists and NGOs. Paragraph 3.1. Witness Miss Ping Kri explained that initially he came to Zheng Ek to deliver wood for building a wooden house. He brought the wood, offloaded it and left. Subsequently, he did the same with prisoners. He used the same road, which is still in place today. It was not paved then and was in a very poor condition and entered Jiang Ek through the current entrance and parked his truck close to where the flagpole now stands. He would leave after the guards had received the prisoners. He stated that he came to Cheung Ek only once or twice. The reason is that after having an incident, he fell asleep while driving the truck. The truck rolled near the Wat Slang. There were no prisoners on board. He was sent to pray source. Accident causé par le fait qu'il était tombé endormi tout en conduisant. Him Hoi's request to work in the rice field. And no longer transported prisoners to Cheung Ek after that. According to him, the vehicles had registration plates, but he no longer remembers the numbers. Paragraph four. Witness Miss Ping Kri pointed to the place where the shack was stood and added that it was about four meters by eight meters in size and was two story ground floor and first floor. Paragraph 5.4. Miss Ping Kri also stated that he did not see any children at Cheung Ek. After the reenactment, all the participants left the site without incident at 12.15 p.m. An audio and video recording of reenactment was prepared and copies thereof were sold to the charged person. The original of the report was written in both Khmer and French and was then translated into English. Document D-52, it is the record of confrontation before the co-investigating judges of the extraordinary chambers in the court of Cambodia on the 28th of February 2008 at 9.50 a.m. Mr. Kasabot, uh, Mr. François Roux, the accused, Kang Kek Eo alias Doj, witnesses him Hoi, Tai Teng, Chun Pal, Mr. Ben Gri, who already sworn according to the internal rules of the extraordinary chambers in the court of Cambodia, were all present. The confrontation. Question by the co-investigating judge, Maxel Le Monde. The day before Marcel yesterday, Le you went to Cheung Ek with us for the reconstruction. Do you confirm what you said while you were there? Witness Ms. Ben Gri responds, yes, I confirm. 
question. Question. Among the people who were Parmi present, who présent, did you know? À la confrontation, qui uh, answer by witness Miss Pinkri, I only know him hoi. I do not know Tai Ting, but he might know me because I was driving the truck. Question. Was it the first time that you came back to Jiang since 1979? 1979? Answer by witness Miss Pinkri. I have already returned to be filmed. It was at night, and him, Hoi, was also present. Question. What was the role Quel of le each of you at Chiang Ek? Miss Pinkri responds, I was a driver. The first time I went to Chiang Ek, it was to carry wood in order to build a house. Then I transported prisoners in my truck twice. But this did not last because one day I had an accident. There were only four persons on board, him, Hui, two guards, and me. And I was assigned to Presa to be re-educated. Regarding arrival conditions at Chiang Ek, the entrance was the same as the current one, but the road was much worse than today. I parked the truck where there is now a flag and the prisoners were unloaded from the truck to be taken to the wooden house. I showed you the location of this house which I believe was 8 meters long and 4 meters wide with two stories. It was in order to build this house that I carried the wood, but I do not remember the exact date. Him Hoi instructed me to do so. He was my superior, and I was always it was always him who gave me instructions. Question. Question. When we went near the tree said to have been used to execute children. Each of you declared that he never witnessed such a scene. Do you maintain this? Answer by witness Miss Pinkri. Me either. Uh, me neither. Correction. Question. Question. Mr. Mies Pinkri, regarding the arrest carried out by S21 personnel outside Phnom Penh, do you confirm that you transported prisoners from Bat Tambang to S21 with Him Hoi? Answer by witness Mies Pinkri. Yes, that is correct. The original of the audio-visual recording was sealed before the charged person and his lawyers and was signed by us, the greffiers, the charged person and his lawyers. A copy of the original audio-visual recording was provided to the charged person. Due to technical reasons, it was not possible to give a copy of the audio-visual recording to each of the persons taking part in the confrontation. And we provided the witnesses and civil parties with a copy of the written record at 5 at 5 p.m., we had the greffier read aloud this written record of confrontation as recorded. The written record having been read aloud and heard, the charged person had no objections and agreed to sign. The President, according to the records of the statements 
of Miss Pankri D28 slash 7 read last week by uh, Madame Sakovati and that this is only just a supplementary reading of the records of the confrontation and reenactment uh, in relation to the statement by Miss Pankri transport sur les lieux. And uh, the statement was made before the co-investigating judges. Do the co-prosecutors uh, wish to make any observations in relation to these three documents that already read out? Text. The co-prosecutor, the prosecution has no observation in relation to the documents read out. The president, uh, the civil party lawyers, would you wish to make any comments in relation to the three documents concerning Ms. Pankri? Mr. Hong Kong Soon, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the civil party lawyers do not have any observation. The President, the Defense Council, would you wish to make any observation in relation to the statements of Ms. Pinkri? Mr. Kasabot, thank you, Mr. President. We, the Defense Council, do not have any observation either. The President, now it is an opportunity for the accused to make his observation in relation to the substance of the testimony of uh, Ms. Pinkri, the three documents, the records of the interview and uh, the statement in which uh, the records were made uh, during the reenactment and confrontation. The floor is yours. Look at here. The accused. Mr. Accusé. President, Monsieur first of all, I would like to clarify that before the 17th of January, uh, the 7 of January 1979, I did not know Ms. Pinkri. I met him at Jane and he challenged me why I didn't recognize him. And I observed his attitude and that of Tai Tain. I looked at them from top to toe. And uh, this uh, testimony of the three people were very consistent. Him, Hui, Tai Tain, and Mi Spin Kri made very consistent testimony. So I believe that uh, they were staff members of S21 without any denial. So in conclusion, it is my uh, position to accept uh, the testimony of uh, the Ms. Spin Kri. So it is uh, accepted in principle. The President. The President. Next, uh, Mrs. Saikalvati is now instructed to read uh, the record of the interview of witness Ok Bun Seng, D78-7. Uh, the Greffe document D78-7. This is the record of the interview of witness Ok Bun Singh, Elias Singh, born on the 4th of April 1955. This record was done on the 2nd of April 2008 at 10 minutes. AM by the investigators of the co-investigating uh, judges of, this, of the extraordinary uh, chambers in the court of Cambodia. Des au sein des Question and answer. Question. Question. Did DC Cam interview you in March uh, 2003? Response. Réponse, yes. Oui. 
question. We will read the entire text of the uh, 14th of March 2003 interview by Mr. Chia of DCCAM summarized a number of points and asked for your confirmation if you still accept all their content. In 1973, you were coerced into becoming ah. a soldier and began military and political ah. training at Wat Choi Song Kang. You said that you were afraid and did not dare participate in the war. In late 1974, they drafted you back into the army, and at that time, you attended a political indoctrination session which discussed internal enemies, traitors, and external enemies, including Vietnam and Thailand. After Phnom Penh was brought under control and the people were evacuated, Phnom Penh city became an uninhabited place. And you entered Phnom Penh with a large group from Sector 25. You lived north of the independent monument in an area under the responsibility of Matt, who was chairman of the Division 12. Your initial work was collecting materials like clothing to be placed in warehouses. You were sent to Bang Cheung and, and went to a place near Preysar. Two months later for political indoctrination because you had a bad personal history and had family relatives who had positions in the previous society. You were trained and tempered at Bang Cheung by digging canals and putting up dams. There were three teams there. Team 1 was the easy group. Team 2 was the moderately difficult group. And Team 3 was the heavy tempering group, where some were put in chains at night. You were in Team 3. For two weeks before you were sent to S24. S24 was subordinated to S21 and was located at Wat Lol and included the land from Preysar to Jake Village. Wat Lol was totally destroyed under the direction of Hui's group which reported to Deutsch. At S24, the work was divided into three levels, a land clearing team, a plowing team, and a team racing domestic animals. Those who did not temper themselves well were sent to S21 and never returned. You claim that S24 was a re-education site and S21 was a killing site. You were at S24 until it fell in 1979. You stated that those who had returned from the Kampung Chanang Air Field work site was sent to S21 and were all killed. In 1978, you once went for political study at S21, where you met Deutsch. 
où vous avez rencontré Deutsch Duke Dittwo. gave one Duke week of training at school outside S21. Une semaine dans une école située à l'extérieur de S21. In those studies, à l'occasion de cette formation, you saw a number of prisoners arrested and taken away. You did not know where they were taken. But later you were told Mais that those people had been sent to S21 and smashed. Question. Question. Please describe the conditions and what you encountered while you lived at Bang Cheng Response. After living at the independent monument for two months, they removed me for tempering to Bang Cheng to a place located east of the Cheng killing fields. Before they removed me, My squad leader in the 12th division, I don't remember the name of the squad leader, had me and all the soldiers make personal stories. The squad leader reported to the platoon leader and he reported to the division and later the squad leader called out from a paper the names of those who were to leave. I was at Bang Cheng Aik for about two months. Bang Cheng Aik was subordinate to S21. I did not know who was directly in charge at Bang Cheng Aik. At that time, I heard that the regiment reported monthly to Deutsch. At Bang Cheng Aik, I was in a battalion which had approximately 100 persons to be tempered, all of whom had come from the 121 division. Those who were being tempered were divided into teams of about 30 people. I frequently saw people arrested there. Those who came to make the arrest came by truck from S21, but I did not know where the trucks parked because it was during the night. I learned of this in 1979 when people who had worked at S21 told me. When they came to make arrests, they called our names for people to come down out of their houses and they blindfolded them. Those arrested and taken away never returned. I learned through people who whispered to me that those people had been taken and killed. Each time they arrested from two to four persons, about nine or ten in total. At that location, there were some people in the special tempering unit where they were kept in leg chains at night because they had gone around stealing food during the night. At Bang Cheng Aik, the people being tempered slept in buildings. The team leader slept in front of the entrance to the buildings. People being tempered could walk around the area of the houses but could not leave the designated area for fear they would be seen and reported to upper echelon. At Bang Jing Aik, the food was irregular. If the tempering was strong, they ate just three scoops of gruel. If the tempering was moderate, they might have rice to eat. Work began at 3 a.m. and including a meeting, continued until 11 a.m. when there was a rest. Eating was done in alternating shifts. Afternoon work began at 2 p.m. and ended at 5 p.m. Night work began at 7 until 12 midnight. 
There were large meetings which primarily spoke about the striving to work so there would be food to eat and there were small meetings in each team for criticism and cell criticism. While I was there, the group from S21 came to photograph and get uh, the personal histories of those being tempered. I saw my photo at S21 prison in 1985. Question. After Bangtien Aik, were you sent anywhere else? Response. After Bangtien Aik, they sent me to Wat Hal to dig canals. Question. Please describe the conditions and what you encountered at Wat Hal. Response. What Han was located adjacent to Prasar. I did not enter Prasar, but I knew that it was also a tempering site. The area from Wat Han to Wat Kdol was subordinate to S24, and S24 was a branch of S21. Hoi was S24 chairman. Hoi's office was located between Wat Ha and Wat Dol, and between the living sites of the male and female youth units. I will stretch the layout for you. The sketch is attached with this record. I saw Hoi almost every day because he came to inspect this area every day. I did not see Dutch since I was busy being tempered. There were many workers there, thousands. The people being tempered and the soldiers who came from various groups dug canals. They did not put the people being tampered in chains, but they monitored their activities, the work there was heavy, and there was insufficient food. I did not see them arrest people at Wat Han, but I heard that people had disappeared. In 1978, I saw hundred soldiers come by truck from the east zone. They came many times, about hundred soldiers per truck. They stayed at S24 overnight. They were sent to S21. I learned this information through S21 security cadres who told me when we fled after the Vietnamese attack Phnom Penh in 1979. While they were staying at S24, I met soldiers who were picking sugar palm and those soldiers asked me where I would be sent next. I answered that I did not know. Those soldiers told me that uh, they had come from the East Zone to draw up personal histories. Question. How did you know that uh, Dutch was Hoi superior? Response. I knew that Dutch was Hoi superior because they announced it during studies and meetings at S21. Those who went to study were unit leaders and model people. I saw Dutch and Son Sen come to teach and show about activities of internal enemies and foreign countries. Question, what was Hoi's physical description? Response, Hoi had a large bill tall, dark, complexioned, curly haired and had a moustache. Question. Did you know Hoi's wife? Response. I did not. 
question. question. Do you know if Hoi is alive or if he died? Response. I heard that Hoi was arrested, was sent to S21 and was killed there. Question. Please describe what you saw when you were studying at S21. Response. While studying at S21, I saw them arrest prisoners and drag them across the street to the buildings. All of them were blindfolded and had their arms tied behind their sacks. It was then that I learned Jules Lang was a prison because someone attending with me whispered it to me. Question, when did you first know Deutsch? Response, I knew Deutsch when I attended the study meetings at S21. I knew him more clearly when I stayed with him in the Grobang Mountains in Pusat province after the fall in 1979. Question. Please describe fleeing from S24 after the Vietnamese attacked into Phnom Penh. Response. When the Vietnamese came, S21 security people came to tell us to get ready to run because the Vietnamese were approaching. I walked with them for three days before reaching Kampung Tralat and went to Om Leng and made Tamok in the forest. In the end, I reached the Grovang Mountains, the place where I made Luch. Question. Question. Please describe what you saw at the Grovang Mountains. Response. Réponse. Six prisoners, Je three females, three males, and one child hommes, were arrested femmes, by Dutch subordinates and taken for interrogation after one prisoner made a noise imitating an animal eux, cry similar to the sound of the name of Pol Pot. Dutch ordered the arrest and the interrogation and said whether they answered or not to finish it. I saw one prisoner tortured by stuffing a flaming torch in his mouth and cutting his throat. Dutch stayed nearby the torture site and he heard the noises of the torture. As for other prisoners, they were probably killed on the mountain. Question. What were Dutch's appearance and his character? Response. Dutch had a small build. He was a pleasant and friendly person, but firm. And if Dutch gave an order, it had to be respected and implemented. This was different from Hui, who was a mean person. I did not dare look Hui in the face. Question. Other than Dutch and Son Sen, did you know any other leaders? Response. Aside from Dutch and Son Sen, I never knew or heard the names of Yusari, Kyusampon at all. I only heard the name Pol Pot when I was sent to S24. Question. Do you know if any of your tampering group or any of the other prisoners are still alive? Response. As for the youths who were being tampered, I know a person named Do who were tampered at S24 like me and is still alive. Now he lives in Po in Chiruitakev Sab district, Kothom district, Kondal province. And S21 security cadre named Bu is still alive. Now he lives near Damre Romil village on the Kampung Spu Kampot border. Some members of the female units are still alive. I don't remember their names and recognize their faces because this occurred very long time ago. 
One copy of the written statement was provided to this witness at 1700 hours on 2nd April 2008. After it was read aloud, the witness had no objections and agreed to sign and place his thumbprint. President, after hearing the statement of Okbon Seng as read out by the craft here, do the co-prosecutors have any observation to make regarding its content? Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Euh, nous pensons que le témoignage est suffisamment clair et nous n'avons pas d'observation à faire valoir. Merci. Le Président, nous adressons à présent au Conseil pour le droit civil. Regarding the content des observations of the statement of the teneur du procès verbal des positions of the lawyers for civil parties have no comment Werner, on this statement. Thank you. Les groupes de partis civils n'ont euh, aucun, aucune observation à faire valoir s'agissant so, de ces dépositions. The defense counsel, le président, do you have observations to make regarding the statement of the witness of Conseil? Have you any observations to make regarding the statement of the witness? Mr. President, we, the defense counsel, have no objection to the statement of Conseil. Thank you. Not any objection to make regarding the statement of Conseil. The president now gives the opportunity to the accused to make his observation regarding the statement of Conseil. As read out by the graph here, that is the 78/7. If you had to take the floor, document D 78, barre de fraction 7. Je vous en prie. L'accusé. The accused, Mr. President. I have Monsieur never President. known Okbun saying. And the documents related to Okbun Sey only emerged lately. I have not seen any testimony which provides sufficient weight for me to make judgment that Okbun Sey was at the right field at Prehistory. Mm, At the same time, his testimony that he went to attend a training and met some sen was likely to show that he was not there because Son Sen, when he attended a, 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 a conference in S21 in 1977 on the 14th of April, I did not gather any components of people who were educated at S21, only the cadres were instructed to attend. Also, the second point which made me suspicious is the East Group. The soldiers from the East Group were collected and smashed at S21, and they came directly to S21 without going to Presor. The testimony of uh, Comrade Hoy a few days ago really shed light on this point. And the third point regarding the torture and the interrogation after 1979 at Provine Mountains were the matters which could never be existed. At that time, there was no longer S21. Everybody fled for their life. So both the boss and the subordinates, they fled and they just tried to stay alive and not starve to death. Therefore, in conclusion, the point 
coins or the testimony which caused me suspicion on this person as I just stated to the chamber vis -vis de cette that's all comme il y a un my observations at this point thank un you un certain number of suspicions comme je l'ai déjà dit devant cette chambre je vous remercie the now le it's time for a break the chamber will take 17 minutes break de faire une pause de 17 minutes and we resume at 3 et nous reprendrons à 15 heures the hearing is now adjourned. All right, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, please rise.